So here we are. Final track on Epic Narratives by Bandmade. It's Get to the Top. Like I said, it's the final track until someone tells me there's a special edition with like five extra tracks or something. As far as I know, with the power of Google, it's the final one. <laughs> and this will be the final song in the playlist that's in the description below, which is all my track by track reviews of every single song. Some of them a little bit old from when they originally came out. But yeah, this has been quite a journey. Um, I think when Unleashed came out, we were so happy because there were so many things that like signified, you know, we'd had uh, songs like About Us and stuff like that. But then uh, Unleashed right down to its like uh, title single was really about coming out of that dark period and just like how, you know, it was, it was all about that. But we, we never felt really like we got all the way back around to where we were before and just had a new album. Um, we had the 10th anniversary uh, Yokohama Live that was that we had all these things but just there was that shadow of new album and then actually at the Yokohama thing they announced this album and then here it is you know best part of a year later um, you know almost you know over a year and a half since like Memorable came out you know there was singles coming out from this going way back here we are and it feels so weird to be near the end like I say I will do a final review of this album after we've listened to this last song and any others that might crop up as special editions or whatever uh, I'll do a final review either on this channel or I might do a full more detailed script to one of my main channel back of broadcast links below um, but yeah I, I guess here we are and one of the things that really strikes me another thing that I drive is that um, you know it's interesting you look at these tracks and just how short a lot of them are you know Maggie three minutes uh 315 318 14 16 they're all just a little bit above three minutes there's some exceptions obviously forbidden tell which is absolutely brilliant uh the one you know uh yeah the bestie as well but most of these songs are near enough three minutes and the the standout longest song it, it is forbidden tell isn't it forbidden tell remains probably my favorite song thus far i'll have to go back and re-listen to really judge obviously i'm still on my first listen uh but yeah, that, it's weird because that song really feels like it earns that extra long playtime just by, you know, it feels as concise as any of the others. But all the songs on here have felt like they were just the right length, you know, detailed, full of little uh, nuances. They were a journey unto themselves. And here we come on to the last one. Kind of sad. Almost don't want to press play because I don't want it to be over. But three minutes and seven seconds until the end of the album. Uh, let me just check that they have got enough hard drive space so my computer does not suddenly... Crash while I'm in the middle of listening to this. That would be uh, awful. Apparently, I've got three and a half gig. That better be enough. <laughs> All right, let's go. It's not like I record these in ultra HD quality, as you can tell. So here we are. Get to the top. Final song. Let's go. Okay, we're ending on that blast. Is it an instrumental? Is it an instrumental? Moreover, did I hear them play this live? I think I might have done. Oh wow, I, I can't believe they're ending on an instrumental. I really can't. I mean, it's great. Come on. Come on, Psyche, Psyche, Psyche. The thing is, I'm pretty sure I've heard them play this live. 
Come on, one minute left. That's a good build-up. It's very funky, but this is not how to end an album. I wish this had appeared earlier on the album. I really wish it had. I'm not going to make any friends with this reaction. I know I'm not. That's it. That's really it. That can't be the ending. Oh no, I know I'm not going to make any friends with this. That was great, it was great, but that's not how you end an album. That's the last track. Oh, look, I, look, I'm always honest on this channel. I guess this proves it. I can't hide the honest emotion. I'm really kind of disappointed that they ended on an instrumental. I know it's going to be, look, don't, I'll cover myself first of all. Yes, it was brilliant. It was beautifully played. It was a nice, tight instrumental. If this had appeared in the middle of the album, I would have gone crazy for it. In fact, I remember vocally saying how I really liked how Unleashed started on basically an instrumental intro because I thought that was a great way of building you up to the album. But an album should end on either, it should end on a crescendo. It should, it should either be like the final blast like with Rene on Conqueror, or it should be something big and anthemic to like you know, play you out. But ending on a song where one of the members isn't even there? It's like what, S Psyche's in the taxi on the way home? Ah, uh, no, I, uh, it really kills me because as a song, it's great. It's a great little instrumental. I got no problem with instrumentals. I like them as well, especially when they're nice, short like this. You know, onset is a great example of it. It can be a, an opportunity to give a punchy demonstration of just how much you can do with the instrumentals that are often so, you know, so often supporting the vocals instead. And that's great here. But that's not the way to end an album. I, ah, oh, that kills me. That kills me. I've got to be honest. I like it, but as the final track, oh, I. I wanted, I wanted a final hurrah goodbye with the band, and I feel like it's having a final hurrah, but Psyche's not there. And you know, look, I might be a hashtag no bias Akane fan, but you can't end an album without Psyche. Ah, oh, all right, so I ain't gonna get so many fucking thumbs down on this video, but I'm always honest on this channel. That was great, that was great. It doesn't belong at the end of the album. <sighs> yeah, I, I'm, try, I, I'm trying to turn this around because I can already feel, I can feel you pressing thumbs down. Um, <laughs> it's a great, it's a great little instrumental. Um, but for an album that has been about epic narratives, a narrative needs to end with a crescendo. Okay, that was... That was probably, um, I'm trying to think, I'm trying, I'm trying desperately to spin this in a positive way because that was a good piece of music on its own. Um, um, yeah, it wasn't like their best instrumental, but it was good. It was very strong as their instrumentals always are. But I just, I can't think of a positive way to spin that being the last track on the album. I'm really trying here, guys. I mean, maybe I should edit this video. I don't know. Should I stop and then like think of something? Look, it's a great little instrumental. That's that's all I got to say. Um, damn, I want to finish this so positively. Come on, please let there be some bonus tracks. Can we get Psyche back in the building? Is there like a post credit scene? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> is it like the old days of the CD albums where you get to the final track, you'd think it was over and then it'd be like five minutes of silence and then another hidden track would appear? Is there something like that? Come on, don't, don't, don't do this to me. Oh, well, it was good. It was good. Um, I am, an, uh, just to be honest, I'm an album listener at heart. I love albums to be albums. They are a journey. This is one of the reasons why I love the idea of epic narratives. I have loved that. I love the twists and turns that this album has taken us on. It's still a great album. I think that's going to be that one thing that's always going to be in my mind now whenever I try and write epic narratives as an album. That's going to be a hard thing to uh, not know. 
Uh, especially considering it started in such a concise way with Maggie being, or Maggie, or however you're supposed to pronounce it, being so strong. It's great instrumental. It's good. Um, it's a great album. And this is not the way I wanted to finish this track by track, but great song. I I feel I feel like I've watched a movie and just the final scene just wasn't yeah it was all leading up to something of it I feel I'm not no, I'm not going to compare it to the end of Lost I didn't watch Lost but I remember what a lot of people said about Lost Maybe, I I didn't watch the Sopranos either but I know what a lot of people said about the Sopranos yeah it just it goes long and it suddenly goes black or something I don't really watch that much TV I'm gonna be honest I can just relate to what people say they feel I feel like it was the end of Sopranos <laughs> just watching it and suddenly it's over it's like hey, hey, where's my ending. Read into that what you will. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, it's great. It, it's a great little track. Uh, not the way, yeah, I think I've said it all. You know what I'm saying. Well, look, um, still, go watch the track by track because this album was full of so many highlights, so many things I absolutely adored. This is a great song, not what I expected to find here. But, you know, there we go. That's the end of the epic narratives journey. Unless you guys can come out of the woodwork and show me a special edition. Maybe I'll go. I, I feel really like Googling just to find some special edition tracks or something. But there we go. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. You probably all unsubscribed at this point. And until I do, for now, get in the comments. Tell me why you hate me and ciao, ciao.